Hello students, now we will discuss about solid waste. What is meant by solid waste? It refers to whatever the substance that moves into trash or that we dump into the trash or dustbin. That is called as solid waste. So, solid waste refers to any waste that can be dumped into trash or into dustbin or trash. So, um, there is another term called as municipal waste. So, what is municipal waste? That is studied under solid waste. The waste that is coming under, apart from water, the waste that is coming from homes, from offices and from uh, schools, some hospitals, etc. So, there are some list of such types of sources like homes, etc. The solid waste that is coming from such sources like homes, hospitals, schools, uh, from offices, etc. is called as solid waste or municipal waste. The term municipal waste is also studied under solid waste. So here it comes water also like sewage but here under, municipal, under solid waste this um, uh, solid municipal waste material from homes is also a part of it. So what is municipal waste? The solid waste from homes, offices, next, stores, schools, hospitals, offices, offices we already have it, etc. For removal of this municipal waste, uh, there are uh, some GHMC uh, means uh, remedies. Some people used to collect this solid waste and they used to dump in some area where it is openly burnt. So these are considered as the sources from homes etc. Then what is meant by municipal waste or solid waste that is obtained from all these sources? It includes waste or used papers, food waste, plastic waste, glass pieces, metals, rubber, etc. If you go on writing uh, the list, there are many types of uh, solid waste or municipal waste. This type of waste is removed only by burning in the open areas or burning in the open dumped yards can be removed mostly, not 100% because some of the solid waste can be recycled and used for other purposes. Mostly by burning in open dumping yards. If the solid waste is, means if it is highly uh, chemically poisonic in nature, if it is dumped in the deep pit like areas, then it causes the poisoning or toxic nature or it spoils the underground water sources. If the solid waste is chemically more toxic and is dumped in deep pits then we can also use the term like landfills then it causes highly poisonic to water sources
So whatever the solid waste that is dumped in the landfills, it causes highly pollution for the deep water or underground water sources. You can also write, if the solid waste is dumped in landfills, it causes, it is a pollutant for underground water source. Waste generated by uh, human activities, it is categorized into different types. Waste generated by human activities is categorized into first one biodegradable solid waste. Here, the, this biodegradable solid waste is dumped in the deep pits for natural breakdown. Means it will be converted back to the soil. Pits or landfills for natural breakdown. Second type of waste that is categorized is recyclable solid waste. Recyclable solid waste. Here, the solid waste is separated for recycling and is used for production of other types of items or substances. Some types of solid waste is recycled to other types of products or we can write usable products. Third one, non-biodegradable solid waste. This one is given with best example that is e-waste, whatever the computer waste, nuclear waste, polystyrene or polyethylene bags etc. are considered as non-biodegradable solid waste. Like computer wastes, this is also termed as e-waste, means electronic goods waste and polyethylene bags, polystyrene bags, etc. These type of polyethylene polystyrene bags are even now used for food packing. This Computer waste or e-waste. Recycling is only the remedy for removal of this e-waste. Recycling is only remedy for e-waste removal. These are few points regarding solid waste removal.